needing a help from Nigerians, from the world at large. I'm calling for you to fight this fight for me. Yes, I'm happily married, but I had a child for my ex-baby, baby dad. When I was 35, we dated for three years. When I was 35, I became pregnant of this, my child. Wish he had first forced me to, 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 to get rid of the a first pregnancy I had for him. This second time, he said it was head bent on me doing it again. I fell for his sugar-coated tongue. I fell for his sugar-coated tongue. I dated him because he said he's a businessman based in Nigeria mostly. So the woman he has abroad will not cross paths with me. But when I became pregnant, he started fighting me that the woman abroad will kill him. You understand? So I said, but you knew you were married. Why were you delaying me? You know? So I was, I had, I left no, I had no option than to stick to him. In, at the end of three years, when I was pregnant, he started using talks to fight me. He started threatening my life. I had to, that I have to remove the pregnancy. You know, out of fear, I went to call him at area command. I called him at area command. I wrote a petition against him. And they told him that what he's telling me to do is against Nigeria law, that he should go back. You understand? He tried to bribe me. He said he would give me 1.5 million. He would give me a plot of land. He would give me the helmet jeep I was driving. He said he would leave it for me. I said the child I have not given birth to. You are prizing all these things on our life. I will not. He tried to force me. He tried to push me. I did not. So finally, I had my child. Diamond, come. Finally, I had my child. From nine months, at the due of nine months till date, since I gave birth to this child till now, he has not seen my child's face. This is my child. This is my child. He has not seen my child's face. So, I'm calling on well-meaning Nigerians. So please, join me on this fight. If he doubts the paternity of my child, he should come for a DNA test. All right, so birthing a child to this world requires the coming together of two adults. Almost too often, when there is a fallout between these two adults, the mother gets saddled with the responsibility of caring for the child or children in some cases. However horrible the love relationship is, can it justify the father abandoning his responsibility to his child? Must a man be made to care for a, a, a child? If yes, how can we get him to be responsible you know, for a child, maybe like, you know, when he plays an away match. All right, so please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 8034 All right, so you know, this conversation is something that happens so often. Absolutely. Like, you know, personally, I know so many people that, you know, it's almost looking like... A trend. A no-brainer. Like... The man just leaves and it, you think it's fine for me to just be the one to take care of the child. And I'm wondering, come, did I just get myself pregnant or it was... Immaculate conception. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> you know, and if you listen to this video, in, in, in this particular woman, in her mm. case, he had forced her to abort a child before. Mm. This second one, she insisted. So some people are blaming her. Hey, you're the one that insisted that you wanted to keep the pregnancy. So you take care of the child. Well, is that right? Let me come to you, Lamy, first. You know, hear your initial thoughts on this. You know, why would a man, is it, I mean, do men truly abandon their children? And if they do, why would they do that? Oh, I'm completely <laughs> overwhelmed. Honestly, I don't really know where to start from. Hmm. But well, my initial thoughts in all of this, and I've always had that thought, is that the process of having children hmm. is too easy. Any idiot, two idiots can just come together in one night and produce a human being. Mm. I think people should, when you have children and you cannot take care of them, I think they should be sent to prison. Because you're just bringing a child, an innocent child to the world to suffer mm. for the whole length of that child's life. So I think the process should even be looked into. I know it's, a, it's an infringement on human rights and all that, but even worse on the child that you're bringing. And from this video, you know, I, I was just heaving all through the video. Ah, the one that really affected me was bringing that child. She didn't yeah, need to, to involve show the child. that child. She took that decision to look after that child. Mm. And I might sound a bit, uh, a lot of men would not like what I want to say, but the truth is, biologically, men are not, they are not how do I say? wired. Yes, to to look after children because they didn't carry the children. They didn't carry that child. So you think it is okay for the man? A man it can just walk okay. away. 
Uwa, it is not okay. That's why who is the role of responsibility? Uwa, listen, that's why it's very important. That when you are dating a man, mm. it is very important for Just you to be sure that <laughs> is this man and is, going to, is he going to be an involved parent? Yeah. Because biologically, men are not wired to look after children. Mm. So if you see an involved father... They're not wired to look after any other person but themselves. Yes. Mm. So, so mm -hmm. if you see an involved father, mm -hmm. oh, I give kudos to that father. Mm. No. When I see fathers that love their children, yes. I just wonder. Because I didn't have that local. My dad mm -hmm. was extremely strict and very detached father, which affected me. And in turn, affected the choice of the man. I married my mm. first you know, yeah. husband, who in turn is also the same thing with my dad. Very detached. So it has not affected my children. So that's the cycle. So now, with the benefit of hindsight, I tell my children, when you start dating a man, the factor, that factor, how involved is it going to be in the lives of your children, mm. with or without you, mm. is very important. important. Until you are itching to talk, oh yeah, talk. You <laughs> see, she just nailed everything when she said preventive measures is my end game. Mm. Once I smell the rat in mm. you, eh, they I go. run for my life. So first things first, I don't want any story that touch, touches the heart. It's just like, uh, you know, a boy can rape you and you find you walk into the boy's house without, you know, without having some sort of protection or you didn't use your brain to you say, okay, let's hang out in, the, um, in, a, in an exposed environment. If you see the man and the man the signs has, are there. has the signs and symptoms of all the negatives, hmm. run. And that's why I keep happening on telling the girl child, the little things or the signs and symbols to look out for in a man. It's so important to I've started me. with my children. Same thing applies to women as well. Because, um, uh, sorry, to boys as well. That, you know, we have Jizzy Bells out there. So you also have to well, wait the, now. Well, I'm coming. Very low. Now, in terms of you talking about the process of making children, don't say that to women who are looking for children no, and men who are looking for children. You said the I process see. is very easy. So well, I, I take that back. Then, I take that back. I take that back. Thirdly, there are fathers that are hands-on. Hmm. There are fathers that are hands-on. And you see, there are very few, especially in a situation whereby the mother, is, the mother is not the domesticated type, because there are women who are not really domesticated, yeah. and is the man that actually does most of the work in the house, even if he has to go to work in the morning and come back home. So we have, we, it's, it's generally, I can say that men are not in. wired to actually take okay, care of so women. Does but it is not right of in God. whatever circumstance for him mm. to disregard because I was ask, the woman. I was going to it's ask irresponsible. That. Mm. Just a minute. It's irresponsible. It is immaturity on the side of the man. Mm. And it's also selfishness. Because I, I listened to a story today. Selfishness. Where, yes. Where the man was talking about, um, he, he called into a radio show, and he was talking about the fact that you're supposed to make a confession. And what did this man do? He said that he actually had a girl impregnated. And mm -hmm. when he impregnated the girl, yes, when he impregnated the girl, he told the girl to get rid of the child, that he's not ready. Mm -mm. In quote, not ready. So when you were busy making the child, and, and guess what? He doesn't even know the girl's name. <laughs> ah. They were asking, the presenter was asking, saying, mm, maybe an alias. <laughs> That's how the task. So you, you can know, see a man can, can have a man can have um, relationship with a woman in quote, I don't sexual want relationship. sexual relationship yeah. with a woman without having any sort of emotional attachment to the woman. Mm. But in most cases, but in this case, if you listen to that. the full video, because there was a mm. part where she was saying that you know he lured her. In fact, at some point, he became so jealous. He was, you know, chasing men away from her. So she actually felt at some point that she was, you know, with a responsible well, person. But let me I don't want to dissect that. that. Let's not dissect the video. We are not here to dissect it. Yes, we are not here to dissect the video. Let me just, <laughs> let, let, let me, let me, let me half that. that no, the meeting. fact, no, no, no. See, there are men that come <laughs> into your life to, to, Please, to, to choke you. Let's return, let me back Such a man... <laughs> Such a man can come into your life and choke you. Mm. And at the end of the day, but she be knew able, he was look, married. Okay, calm she, down, ladies. She knew, she knew he was married. So what's it, what's I, a, what I, was he talking down. about? Calm the, down. The man was lying to no, her. No, um, he didn't lie. Let me, so let's not dissect the, 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 Don't let's go into uh, the video. Because if you, you want to... So I was digress. saying that the circumstance <laughs> of a birth of a child, does it play any factor in terms of child care? How do you mean? 
Um, so in this situation where, or in situations where, because um, taking care of children is not limited to just an exchange relationship. Exactly. There are people that are presently in a marriage mm -hmm. with a man, um, and it seems like it is only the woman that is handling the, the care and all of that of the child. Absolutely. So this thing, is it that, it's because people always want to assume that it's a circumstance it's because they are not together. Mm -hmm. That's why the man is not taking care of the child. But we've mm -hmm. seen cases where we are married, you know, and it seems like it is only that woman that is the burden of the child going to school and all of that. Oh, wow. mm. There are a lot of men that their partner instinct does not kick when they have children. And all through their lifetime, it will not kick. So whether the children go to school or not is not their business. And to be very candid, parenthood is about selflessness. Totally. If you are selfish, there is no way you can raise a child. Exactly. Because you have money at times. Um, economy of sticks of scale. Mm. How do I spend? How do I spend? Do you know how much we pay for school fees? Mm. Do you know what that money can do to you? Exactly. Do you understand? Sometimes you want to change your car, but when you mm. calculate how much goes sacrifices. To the, so, I think it goes both ways. But most of the time, because biologically women are saddled with the children, mm. and the way we are also biologically wired, wired mm. it is very hard for a mother to abandon the child. Mm. But I wouldn't say that if women to, if to flip the, you know. Flip the coin. Yes, it might not, because it is easy for men to detach, mm. because biologically they are not saddled with the children. So, and especially if you are now with this very selfish man, mm. he won't look after the children. And most of them have it at the back of their minds that, oh, like, look after the children. By the time they grow up, they'll say, come back for that. Okay, so let me take it know, further. Let okay. me take it further. So because now, this man says, I bought the child, you refused, and you took over, and you wanted to have it. There are mm -hmm. circumstances where women deliberately get pregnant mm -hmm. for a man because they want to tie that man down, you know, to... Um, so eh. is it... Wait, when wait, the man now. was deliberately making the baby, he didn't know about that. Then she should have wait, prevented now. now. Wait, let me finish. So when these situations now happen, does it justify that it's okay for the man to say, you know what, you were the one that wanted to have the child? So go ahead and take care of the child. I don't want to have anything to do with this child. That's a tough one. Yeah. I would That's say that one. bringing a child to life is a whole life, is a lifelong engagement mm -hmm. that two adults that des mm -hmm. must decide to bring the child to life. Even in marriage, I've heard where the father would say, or the mother, would, or the couple, at the, the beginning of the marriage, mm -hmm. would sit down to say, we want to have, and it happened sure. to my auntie, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They agreed to have three kids. Mm -hmm. And she had the fourth one. Okay. Mm -hmm. the man will not Within say. the marriage, do you know that up until when that child got married, the last child, from when the child was born to the child got married, the father did not get involved in the life of that child. And he wow. was, and she was still married to they him. They were married. Because he said that he didn't want to we have a fourth are, child. Yes, he only has capacity to love three kids and cater for them. Wow. That fourth child was not in the arrangement. You have that child at your own risk. Till that child got married. If he I, did not involve if, his if life. I must, if I, if I can yeah, also step in, wow. I think it also that's, has to do with the way a tough men, one. men are wired when they're being brought up. Okay, The moment we feel we relegate the role of taking care of children or taking care of the house to the ladies mm -hmm. or the girl child, the men grow up feeling that, okay, daddy wakes up in the morning, reads the newspaper, mm. gets ready, goes out, and he doesn't do anything. Mm. So he will grow up with that mindset mm. that, I can also do the same in that my That's house. the role of a so man. So that's the role of the man. The man just provide role is financially. To provide financially. Mm. But still, there are some men that don't provide financially <laughs> and they still don't do anything <laughs> like bombs. So the key thing here is this: that, that the, when you see a a, 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 a a young man with that kind of mindset, it still comes back to the kind of home he mm. came from. Mm. So the moment we also, as parents, have to talk to our children and also ha guide them. Accurately, I always believe in the fact that it's how you, what you instill in a child's mind is what the child grows Shouldn't up with. Shouldn't have put up with. to the environment. Yes, the child grows up with. And in most cases, we the parents, we play a huge role. It's not even the environment. We play the hugest role in actually getting them to actually be who they are supposed to be mm. in future. Okay. So the earlier we get that right mm. for uh, our, parent, right. our parental roles, not to be so defined it's, the better sorry. Like I just remember, that is why a lot of mothers-in-law, uh, mothers-in-law rather, mm. when they go abroad to see their children, 
they always send them back <laughs> before time. Mm -hmm. You know, the marriages abroad is different from here. Totally. The environment and everything, the stakes are, you know, they're mm -hmm. much higher and all that. Mm -hmm. So when they get there, especially the ones with the sons, you know, the mothers in law for, you know, that have the son. When they get there and see their children, their sons being involved in the likes of their children, washing plates, helping, yeah, washing plates cooking, <laughs> taking their children to school, it not sets them. Mm. And before you know it, they start intruding in the marriage. Ah. And you trust all these women and they know their rights and all oh, that. Before okay. you know that, they, they send the woman plates. back to Nigeria. <laughs> and they'll come back and say, hey, oh, Bodo wife, oh, Bodo Yibo wife, oh, and all that. Mm. It's different because they don't. It's, it's different just from, you know, it's just an African thing. Mm. That's why most of the it's moment an African the man thing. understands that he is married to his wife and not to the, his mother, the better for everybody. Okay, I was going to bring in the legal angle. Because okay. it's not how we have you not have to talk about the legal angle. That Absolutely. Is it possible for, but we don't have so much time. Maybe we'll take a break after that. Is it possible that this woman can fight this legally to be able to get, um, what is it called? What do they call that thing? Um, alimony. You know, no, sorry, um, child, child support. support. Child support. We is call it possible? It, we call it child maintenance. Yeah, child and maintenance, yes. When she came to, I think she, uh, for coming to you, coming, her main yeah, preparation is just embarrass the man. Yes. Because she knows that this is not going to sort it out. Absolutely. Mm. The main issue, it's even a crime in Lagos State to have a child and not cater for that child. Mm. The laws are there. Just approach the magistrate court. Yeah. To enforce the rights of that child for the education and welfare advancement of that child mm -hmm. is simple. But there's no law that will force the father to be physically present in the life of the child. No, definitely. But just to be able you to know get the moral money. Partner. Because she's already calling him. I'm not you know sure what? it's money for Come her. and do. No, I think it's money. Because I she's asking him. She's asking him. I said I can take care of my child. That, no, 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 uh, no. no. <laughs> she, she said happy. she doesn't want... No, she, child, yeah. she was so, happy on the financial... No, she, she, said, so, she said things about shame. He was okay. talk talking about shame. Because so wanting him like to be involved on. in you, the life. Yes. Okay, you know what? Let's take a break. When we return, we'll take a very short break. When we return, mm -hmm. I would like to get you know more on that, you know, if it's possible to do that. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 